Yeah, Steve, it's pretty simple. RPD is hoping that connecting with this next generation of citizens will go a long way in growing trust. And while it's only baseball, they're pretty confident that the impact here is going to carry far beyond the diamond. A pitch to strike out distrust in the community. Anything that brings them, you know, closer to being with the police officers, being with our police department, to show them that we're not the enemy, that it's not a us versus them kind of mentality, but we're all one team working together to make our community safe. It's called the Raleigh Police Department Mentorship Baseball League. Officers volunteering to mentor, coach, and ump kids 10 to 15 years old. Chief Estella Patterson calls it a long-term investment. Once they see us as human beings just like them, just like their parents, just like their family members, then they'll connect with us. Then they'll come up to us and say, hey, this is happening in our neighborhood, or they'll be a part of helping us to solve the crime and the issues that we're seeing in our community. 11-year-old Camille Edmonds just sees it as a chance to make friends. It's like having like a good day and like playing with people that you don't know and making friends, like with people that you don't know. But he's also proof of the program's potential. I thought police officers were like, we're going to like engage in people instead of like being nice to people. And now what do you think? They're nice because they're helping people with food. Yeah, the hot dogs and hamburgers always a hit with the kids, but twice a week, every week, you'll see those RPD officers out at Biltmore Hills Park. I'll have to check with Camille about the food situation going forward, but hey, it's a good spread tonight. Steve? Yeah.